Come in real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're just now joining us, welcome. We have our Game 5 for our first matchup. Today is the last day of Week 1 of Stage 4. Up next, Optic Texas versus the London Royal Ravens, but a big Game 5 here at uh, Seattle, led 2-0. Toronto doing their best to uh, force this reverse sweep. Seattle also starting off on offense. It's you got to mention it. The problem starting offense round one though is that you don't have trophies. Yep. So it makes it a little more difficult because if you don't have those trophies, you can get nated from both of the arches. So you can see Seattle playing this round pretty slow, waiting for Toronto to kind of make that first mistake. I hate the discrepancy of online to land because on land we saw players on defense like making plays with no dead sign. Sounds through art, and you just can't do it online we'll with sound EQ. I mean, you're literally bomb still has yet to get played. You can't. Seconds on the clock, Toby might get caught here. Oh, no. two v two. Toby also gets able it. To answer. Oh, at the same time, Toronto are able to drop two pred escapes with two HP. 24 seconds. They got to lay that bomb. 1v1. Scrap. Oh, pred's gonna fly at him. Yep. Oh. The dead silence right, cheese yeah, strikes start. Pred again. That's oh, awesome. shit. Tack, up close and personal. Actually, no. I can't believe that Pred lost that. Cheese, you think? Nah, I can't believe nah, Pred lost that. Nah, bro. And he, scrap one that shit. Yeah, but that was a good win, but he also got that hip fire connect, I think, due to the dead one, silence. And that is the Ultra, second time that Pred has been cheesed by that right dead silence popping. I mean, he still should have won that. Done, yeah, I agree. He should have won that fight. I would love to see his POB. To be fair, though, that angle, like with the with the boxes, like it, it fucks me up too. Like yeah. when someone's on the other side of it. I don't know if you lose aim assist or what, but. I mean, scrap quite the turnaround. First two maps for him were abysmal. Maps three and four looked better, and now off to a three and zero start in round one here, game five. If Pred opens that door, he might be seeing meet his maker. Yeah, that head might be gone. In spots like this, man, it's wild. Yeah, defense for them on this map has not treated them well. But that's a big round one. I mean, that's a defense win for Toronto. In that category, and even in the retakes. Opportunity to go up 2-0 here on a... chance at winning the round. So if you are ultra, just try to work up towards... And Seattle might just plan. be trying to... See Hicksy slowly trying to edge his way up. To, well, we, we say big dick this really terrible yeah, job that was, that was a bad overheat and we might be seeing an answer and that's an answer from Seattle if Scrap just plays an off angle there this round is completely different completely different found out Surge as we said, struggle mightily with retakes. They struggle mightily on the defensive yeah, that's side. Yeah, that's right. a quick bounce back round for Seattle, though, and also on a defense. Really they needed that. Than that. That could be their best defense Definitely a crazy child to scrap. Oh, yeah, without sure. question. And that just came down to the teamwork. They got no the bomb one was down, trying too. to be the individual playmaker to flank through our two top double windows. They all like I said, to Toronto, they the get that bomb down. They don't always play two, two discipline. Close. And was able to start that was that, that was a bad shot. I like to think I know what I'm talking about somewhat. Him and Matt combined for the final couple of kills in Seattle. I mean, if I'm scrap, I'm playing that back defense. right staircase angle on top of that ledge, and I'm just pretting him an open. You have that crossfire. As soon as your teammate plants the bomb, he can watch close. Yeah, you have, like, this neat. perfect X crossfire. There he overextends behind stage. You can wall bang the entire stage. Takes a bad shot. I, I, I don't like it at all. Not so much. Even in their series yesterday, Pred was dropping bombs and really was not the case for the rest of the squad. Today, Here we go, Seattle on the, the offense. And what has provided them their opening two map victories. Toby back in that single window might get caught this time, and, and he's out of there. Pretty much doing his thing. Another opening and good engagement of which Pred and Kleenex are inches Ooh. away from aggressing each other. Pred was he stunned? He had yeah, a fucking hard stunned. He looked like he was walking in quicksand. Blood, but they've got the bomb planted. Hip hop playing it now in the 4v3 situation. Ultra. Ooh. Just got to do exactly what they did last time around. Pressure all out throughout the front arches. But Another round for this Seattle. Should be three, this should be 3 0 Seattle. Yep. Great setup from Seattle. This time to hold down their power spot. Should be, but. Fred gets that information onto Kleenex, gets him one shot. Then you also get the information onto Hixie, trying to beat the aggressor in through bottom art. When Pred is able to strike with that a defense first loss or a defense win down. here for Seattle so puts them in the knew. driver's seat. And we had to put the pressure on from the front end. Unfortunately, none of the gunfights go their favor. Seattle surge now up to one. I mean, could be talking about how Seattle 
I mean, should be up three to zero based off how that yep. first round won. I mean, a few shots, one gun engagement, a few bullets connect opposite, and we're talking about this is really three clean rounds from Surge. Oh, However, for shots. Toronto, yeah, quite aggressive here. they have one on yeah, the board, in, but they're in their cheeks. For Seattle, they are instantly into that oh, objective he should be toast. Oh, 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 oh. Trophy just killed the Lamar. It's his trophy that actually ends up finding the kill. Nate and it's back and forth. Why not? Fall. That was a weird and as the dust interaction. Settles, we find ourselves in a 2v2, and somehow Scrappy is still alive. Yeah, somehow the sub duo on the side of Toronto up to a, a tough Full start here. Engagements. He's still able to stay alive. But now your main focus is on where is Pratt because this is oh a player Oh my who's gosh, they may have the done it. Wow. Strap. Fortunately going to fall to Sid. It is insight though. He is very now close. Look at this guy, bro. He, he has tremendous clutch ability hit that. He could have got destroyed, But not hitting your jump up. Yeah, that it's might have actually been all. pretty still be down influential. Clutch, stage, right? He's not checking his right corner. He's also about to run out. Oh my gosh. Fred goes low and he's no daddy though. It now brings it into the 1v1. This will be a win site if he wins 30 this. 30 seconds to go. No daddy. And that bomb not in the greatest of spots for insight as we said considering that that dead silence is no longer going to be an option Bombs for down. him. down. Time continues to tick and it is all on to what Jamie Craven can provide us with. Cross too. The cross, a 1v1 yeah. yeah. still play. on the cards a sib. Patient as ever holds oh my his oh my gosh. Like the visuals, he does. does he run it? Oh, good play. Go, I, lo I love that he just hops it instantly. Oh this is gonna be successful. Some now players might decide to fucking try to run him Sid down that he's one shot, but he insta gets oh, on that get bomb. He thought he ran back. Oh! He just got incinerated. He left. Able to hit a beautiful, beautiful shit. angle in Good win from Dante. Holy shit. Wow. He said no. That little jump up just saved him. If 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 Sim stays on the lower level of that, he's dead. But since he jumps up on the ledge, it just gives him a better angle on that heady. Sim just winked at Lamar, dude. Damn. That is a monumental Great win. 1v1 there for Siv. Rarely do we see a smile. And Jay, we also got a wing from the guy. <laughs> My word. You know it's a big round when you see a smile coming in from that man. Kleenex on the other side trying to get Toronto right back in this. Fred at least makes the man count that much more favorable. So it's a 2v4 a that now brings so it far. into I'm a 2v3. It. Thankfully, you've got the Aussie and you've got the hot shot coming in from Siv. Yep. Let's see what their two we'll all stars can do, can do, do here position. in the clutch. There is a lot of time still on the clock left. Yeah, and Sims one kill off of earning that cruise missile. So he's probably just gonna try I to like play it. for this bomb plant. Play that first. Put himself street, in a nice Pred. little angle. Oh, look at, at where Pred's at, bro. He's in open. It. So now Pred finds himself all the way pushed up towards open. They're ready for the wrap back. He has that angle. I like this setup. So many things have to be watched. Yeah, but Sib's kind of exposed, Ultra, though. Yeah, to that's what I was thinking. If one goes deep, red. Yup, perfect. Now, he won. versus Pred. Before hitting the deck, and with that, Pixie versus Pred. Pixie, like the rookie, who's been known to Insta hop. For oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The balls of steel. Does Pred go for the towel? Does Pred go and he gets it. Ain't gonna lie. I like the play out of Hicksy, though. I mean, you have that weird option there. It's nah, not a lot of people wouldn't have grabbed the bomb right there. I like it. He tried. I've been oh, noticing boy, Hicksy's tendencies, and he likes to hop the bomb. A smile yep. for him and sir he loves to hop the bomb in the clutch. On their tear. Hops Here again there. Five. Doesn't end up paying off for him. The sophomore is just close up Iowa in the down 2v4 11. situation. Might be GG. What? It's on the not round. The one kill that Sib found. <laughs> was all that he needed to do to earn himself that cruise missile. But what a clutch right there from Seattle Surge. Not their best S&D map, but obviously they've been putting in work on the back end to get a lot better at it. And it's been showing so far. Up 4-1, cruise missile to work with. Toronto Ultra. Oh, my God. There's nothing going right for Ultra he anymore. He finds a timing. He finds another. Yeah. Hicksy just block. lost full. I mean, that's just a perfect example. I mean, to kick off this round of just the way that Pred can attack you. Instantly goes for the information toward bottom. Just the one angle that Toronto decides to not send a player I mean, this time. And dying off bombs. He's up he Hicksy, who's going for the happy. bomb plant. Wonderful work coming in from Surge. They have invested two dead silences here onto the SMGs. Hunting for info, and here comes the cruise missile. Fred now as well. activating. Oh, Wonderful work from Surge, and here comes I the mean, cruise. GG, it, man. it is a third. full collapse, and Fred with now. another. And, and that's another cruise. Yeah, is wow. running through happy. Yo. A six spree for him. 
and Seattle can do no Fred be doing his thing at S and D too. I see. Fred has been Everybody's insane in search lately. Dives as well, Jay. It's been flawless search to destroy, man. Seattle surge. They struggle on their defenses. They are clutching up on a couple of those, but on their attacking rounds, two v fours does not matter. They had that ice in them today. As this time around, Sib says, "Huh, we're up four one. I'm gonna invest the cruise missile right now. I'm not gonna wait until it gets more down the line." Toronto, you zero and two start. Unless something miraculous happens. Are you calling that cruise to get all the information? Kind of crazy. Yeah. Going to turn events from major three champs. As Pratt earns himself a cruise of his own. This is looking like it's over for Toronto Ultra, man. They gotta find something. Yeah, it feels like for Surge, it's not if, it's a matter of when. Maybe it could be, it could be sooner than we think. Cruise missile established. Surge are running to get this one done now. Oh, he's leaning. He's on that oh, lean. He's got that glitch, Toronto right? Yeah, but it slowly back. comes back. In his accuracy, was able to put two of the Toronto Ultra members down, so it is instantly. Oh, Hixie, just nothing Hixie going right for the guy. Up, he ends up winning a big crazy gunfight, though. I thought he was dead to rights. Gunfight. The rookie with some confidence now has made his way into the A site as all things begin to pause. 2v2. Two two. Actually, oh, slowly working five. his way I mean, up. Hicks, he making some plays this round. Down. Now it's all left up to and Pred. Pred do it v2. again. Oh, and Pred, this is a gimme. This is a free. <gasps> oh, he's got the read. He's got 30 seconds as well. So 30 seconds left. It is him versus Insight for the series. Bomb is going to be over at A, but Pred. Maybe smells blood in the water, living up to his name. Oh, he's not going to check the back. The Good play by Jamie. Insight, Insight wins it. On the Good back. play. Pred went for the route, but Insight clutches up and stays alive. They're still alive. alive. Toronto. Just by the skin of their Can't teeth. Can't count him out, but I will say it's blow. looking grim. It's looking you grim. Know, Four in a row right for Toronto. He knows that Pred likes to be the aggressor. Potentially wants to hit a route and it plays out perfectly. So he backs his way up all the way towards bottom maps. Catches Pred on the rotation and is able to keep Toronto Ultra in this search and destroy a little bit longer. But now you just have to figure out what mid round adjustments you have. Toronto to make. on offense as well. It's always been Pred striking on that first blood, taking your bomb carrier down. So they switch it up this time around. You get a couple SMGs that are going to be aggressive. Aggressive they push. I like to get the bomb down. Bomb as we said, maybe try to make Seattle. I and mean, we've talked about the stats. We've pretty much thrown those out the window. That, but on their defensive sides, I historically, mean, they have insane. struggled. So with that instant bomb plant, the what do you do? in through the top. Again, able I mean, to drop Jamie clean for the first. Here. Another first blood for Seattle. Does he have another one cooked up? Insight, knowing how valuable his life, especially isn't the latest the rounds, trying to stay up. Pixie ends up winning his fight. Toronto down in numbers. Like but thankfully, he they've it. got the time at their side. He's got to go. Seattle. Scrap in a position to check bomb. Scraps should be good for one here. Scraps, if you can stay alive as long as you can, yeah. I'm going to hit the route. Akashi looks like he puts himself in a position to <gasps> at least read it, but Scraps is in such a great spot. Wow. You get this player off. And bomb. Ultra Pixie lived to see another player. round. Up the bread. No time to defuse. Here we go. From 1-5 oh, to 3-5. If they win this defense, they're going to have they an offense to force round 11. This round is everything side. right here. But it was if you're Toronto now, you're just going to start making play calls, feel that momentum out. Seattle, on your hand, may be a little and more reserved now. Like, you know, okay, shit. Great position, just stalling out Not so clock. smiley anymore Allow right now. Hixie to hit that flank and eventually clutch up on the 1-5 would be nuts. Now down 5-3. Yeah. I mean, it's it's especially a last snap of her sweep. 1-5 would be nuts. Oh, no. In series and the game two, they started off down five to one, brought it back. Toronto, to let's see what their strat is. They're pulling out a good one. one. If I'm Seattle, I'm getting the bomb down three. a quick. Don't Do give them time to think, don't give them time to make a play. Yeah. Get, the, get the rock down, starting to feel just some like life. that. Perfect. It can surge, yep, they're working it up. Wait. Another chance scenery. to do so. Wait. And it could be Pred. Uh, that might oh. be G Jizzle. And there it is. Pred. 13 and 4 for Pred. What the Seattle. fuck was that play Wait, called? What's this guy's SD K? Yeah. Bro. Holy it. shit. They're about to take major GG. champions down, and there it is. GG. Doing it in the search and destroys. Holding off. And Toronto, 0 and 2 start, losing two game fives. Nobody Damn. saw this coming. Damn. It can we, change in the blink of an eye in Call of Duty, Duty, man. In a blink of an eye. We might be seeing Toronto start in that lower bracket. What's what's Toronto's remaining schedule? I don't know. Let me find out for you. Hold on. Yeah, let's see their remaining schedule. Hold on. I'm looking into it right now for you. Let me just fucking. What it look like? Well, we have Riley. You don't have to do it.
Riley can also do it. Christ. On their hard boy game. They at least take the first one. We also had questions on their search and destroy as of recent. Impressive. They were one and five in their last six, but they clutch up and take two. Toronto and their, their remaining schedule plays Phase, Florida, and, and Vegas. Phase is obviously scary. Vegas' his new roster is looking good. The Toronto versus Vegas rivalry. Four. That would be. That's potentially. April, that's April 14th, right?